I don't know how to mute like us talking, so. Just play some music. You should have like a dateline. See, it's still playing the music really quiet. You should have a dinner in that tank. I love this song so much. I can 
feel it It's creeping up on me But what I just can't see Or say you feel it It's not available on mobile, that sucks <laughs> After this part of the song, we can start it because I love this part of the song. Alright boys, you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, this is gonna be a good drop right here. What's up, everybody? Brad here with Connor, Billy, and Valen with Inside yeah. AGL episode that we have not done in a very long time. Uh, we've kind of been hiding dormant, uh, getting a lot of things figured out on our end and uh, adjusted accordingly, let's to say the least, and a lot of new things in the mix. So we've got a lot of news, and uh, it's going to be a really good, really good show for everybody. So um, everybody watching, just have fun, enjoy, be respectful, let us know if you have any questions or anything. Um, and we're going to get this kicked off. I need to open up my sheet because I don't have it opened. Um, so mm -hmm. let, let's start this off with obviously, um, I guess, you know, the most recent events that are coming up right now, which is the global championships. You know, there's a lot of top people that are attending this and, you know, a lot of them got invited for attending all the AGL events this year, which is awesome. You know, huge shout out to 343 for allowing that to happen and everybody that put in the work to uh, to that to happen. And congratulations to everybody that has qualified going into this awesome weekend this weekend. So we're going to kind of go around through us and we're going to just say, pick your top two players that you think are going to place one and two. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off with, uh, we'll start with Valen over there in the corner. Okay, sure. Um... One and two, one and two. I have, uh, I mean, I don't want to be that guy, but I have Pistola winning. I mean, I just don't see him losing a 1v1. I mean, I think that's the most crucial thing. I mean, does he get knocked out, out you know, before he gets to top eight? Probably not. So once he gets there, I don't, I don't really see anybody beating him in a 1v1. So I have uh, Ola winning. And then second, man. Second's difficult. Second yeah. is hard. Second is hard. <laughs> Put Why don't you just put in. like four, three, three people in there? Okay. Okay. All, <laughs> All right. right. Just pick your top Make three. Pick your top, top four. Three. Top four. You don't even have to say four. the first if you don't want to. Okay. Well, man, that's difficult. Let's go with. Uh, you have twenty seconds. I'll go with. I'll go with Cloud somewhere in there. I'll go with uh, Snipe Down somewhere in there, and then as my fourth person in the loop. Uh, Mm. I'm gonna throw a random person. I'm gonna say uh, uh, ninja, ninja, ninja because I'm on the spot. Now I'll probably come up with somebody <laughs> where I really feel like you know. No, 
nothing against Ninja. I just feel like there's going to be someone playing really well. The top eight was really interesting in Atlanta. Uh, the top 16, rather, was really interesting in Atlanta. So I feel like uh, someone can squeak their way in. But either way, it doesn't matter who, who wants to who wants to be your top eight. Ola's winning. Nobody's going to beat him in a 1v1. <laughs> I honestly don't think so. Uh, Billy, your picks? Um, I also, for, for one, I'm picking Ola just because I was talking to him and he was talking about how he's just been on a whole different level as far as his gaming goes. He's been stepping back a little bit and just kind of maturing a bit as a player. So for number one, I'm picking Ola. For two, three, four, I, I feel like we're going to have a Nabel in there, snipe down, and then I could see Ninja or, or Legit going in there as well. Okay. Yeah, I was probably wrong for not naming legit i mean that guy's nasty i mean i was i was watching some of his uh agl8 ffas and it was just yeah. like he was matching up pretty well pretty well and then all of a sudden just at the end going on like a super tear just tearing it up and coming at the first so you know that willpower at the end of the game is huge for ffas all right and connor what about you even though you're playing yeah uh, <laughs> i'm not gonna throw yourself in top yeah. four dude i, I mean yeah. i would but I'm not going to do it for this. Uh, I'm going to go Ola, even though he recently said he's sick. He's, he's still going to have like a championship mentality. Um, I'm going to go strong side because no one's been practicing harder than strong side. And mm. then my last two, I'm going to have to go formal because he was just dominating when we were playing yesterday. And like he was getting first place by like 15 kills away from second. And then I'm going to have to go either Heinz or legit because they're they're both monsters and and Heinz has absolutely been dominating in the free falls as well just up there with formal and so it would be a toss up between formal and uh legit all right so all right i like That's formal in there. i think yeah. i think i'm gonna follow the bandwagon i'm gonna go with ola to win it <laughs> so i definitely think that i mean is it a bandwagon or is it just you know science he's been showing know. out facts. he's been showing out like he if he exactly it's fact he's yeah it is, anyway. for sure, definitely. So I'm going to pick Ola. And then the other three, I'm going to say we're going to see uh, Legit, Strong Side, and Snipe Down. Those are going to be Ooh, my my. forgot three. about Mike. So I definitely I definitely think that Snipe Down is going to come off, you know, really, oh, really strong. And you have to think, too, you have to think of it like this as well, that um, Snipe Down and Strong Side – as well as you know, Connor over here, they don't have to play Friday, so like they're already advancing. These those other people have a Same lot harder. Enable. No, because yeah, the enable made it. Oh, did he? Did he? Yeah, yeah okay. Heinz did as well. Okay, okay. So like they have a okay. lot easier. Of okay, hold a road. on, hold on. Before you keep going, can you explain uh, why? Because I, I didn't know personally. I didn't know that they don't have to play on Friday. I can explain it. Yeah, Connor can do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, all the all the people that just received invites, so they didn't qualify. They didn't get the free trip at all. They have to start playing Friday morning. I'm not sure exactly how many people there are, but 32 people from Friday advance to Saturday, and then the 32 people that qualify join up with those other 32 to make it 64, and then we continue okay. playing Saturday. So oh, all, right. all the people that qualify don't have to play so until the, all the, the Those are all the onlines that qualified. Yeah, and then the people, the six people at RTX, and then the six people from Gamescom in Germany last weekend. So that it's 12 that qualified at real events, and then 20 online. Hmm. There you All go. right, and then uh, you had some news for one v one that I don't. I'm sure a lot of people aren't aware of. Do you want to? Well, I, I can't say it's confirmed. But oh, but that's what you. What that's I, what you think. But is what everyone's happening. saying is that because everyone thought it would be like a final one v one, eight players, and the people that get first and second in that one v or the FFA would then one v one, and then I guess what's going around now is that the last eight people will be put into a one v one bracket, and then all of Sunday is just one v ones. So this I'm not exactly not sure. It's going to be the most intense is. Halo that we've ever watched. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it will. Yeah, You're going to be definitely. seeing clouds and enables, like just getting knocked out. Like people you would never see getting knocked out. It's just going to start happening. You're just going to be like, whoa. Yeah, yeah it's going to be. It's, it's going to be intense. Um, another quick topic. So like that's kind of that's our predictions. You know, make sure everybody. You know, everyone's going to be watching this. That's a no-brainer. Yeah. If you're going, make sure you come and say hi and hang out. Um, I will be there. Uh, Connor will be Red there head. playing. So, yeah. um, and then a little topic that we haven't touched on at all. Any, you know, Valen did a little bit of a live stream and video on it. Me and Billy haven't reached out our opinions on this at all. And we thought that after we have all this other news that we wanted to touch base on this before we get into everything else. And it's this whole Halo and COD thing that's going down. And it's it's yeah. died down a lot. 
in the past week. But, you know, everybody's saying, oh, I'm going to switch over to Call of Duty, blah, 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 this and that, because there's not as... Yeah, more money. That's that's what it comes down what to. What it comes down to. That's what it comes down to. There's more money. Awesome. They support... The developers are supporting the game. Good job. But nothing against Call of Duty at all. My My opinion, where it comes into play, is if you are a Halo player, and you're a professional Halo player, and you're playing for the money, all right? If you're playing for the money then you're going to switch over to COD to place in the money, right? How many top Call of Duty teams are there right now that you have to catch up with that have been playing the game for years and years and that you have to go and play catch up and now play a hundred times more than they have ever played to try to get up onto their level just to place in the money. So the chances of a Halo Pro top Halo player switching over and being able to place in the money is not going to be it's not as easy, easy as what it think everything everybody thinks is what it comes down yeah. to yeah and and would you rather go to an event and get some kind of money if you're placing in those top payouts or would you rather go to a bigger call of duty event where there's more money and not get anything at all you yeah know? Okay. So let's, it's be, like, let's be don't, realistic don't jump ship if you're gonna do it do both that's kind of what it comes down to like Go play Call of Duty, sure. If you want to go enjoy the big events, go to them and everything. That's awesome. They're fun, of course. Oh, yeah. But if you're doing it strictly for the money, then the, that's just a, that's just a bad decision. You sh everyone should be playing Halo because they love the game. You should be playing Call of Duty because you love the game. You shouldn't be doing it for the money unless you're one of those top teams that are making a living off of doing it. And let's be real. Really go ahead. Yeah, Call of Duty. I mean, there's a ton of kids. Like we were seeing teams like Envy almost getting upset. Like it's not. That was like, an intense night. It's not like. Oh my like, god. You can't. <laughs> you know, it's just like like people that nobody's heard of are coming up and almost upsetting top teams. So, even you know, I feel like the skill gap for Call of Duty is a lot less. Like a lot of people are really really good at that game. So. Yeah. So one thing I was gonna say too, uh, when Brad started his argument was. Call it what it is. It's sometimes for the majority of the community, they're not switching to COD because they're trying to make it in the money. They're switching because that's where everyone's attention is going. You know, just for that brief moment before we're able to collectively pull some things together, I guess, is, uh, you know, people naturally are just playing Call of Duty. Like I found myself doing it a couple nights. You know, I'm not, I'm not because, you know, I'm trying to be like, I'm switching, you know, just playing with some friends, hanging out, but it's the same feel for Halo. Just because some attention is left, you know, people aren't necessarily jumping. I'm going to go play and make some money because I don't even think that's what people's intentions are mostly. I mean, when you're playing Halo, the majority of everyone playing Halo right now isn't doing it for the money. I, I never – and it sounds so cliche, but I never did it for the money. I Halo grabbed my attention. Competitive Halo grabbed my attention right away because of just what it was, the atmosphere, the competition. Like I wanted to go and play against Karma. I wanted to beat Karma and be a pro player. You know, that that's always what it was for me, and that's always, you know, everyone I involve myself with, that's what they want to do too. So I don't think it was ever for the money. For the pro players, for all you pro players, such as, you know, everyone in Ambush, Status Quo, all you guys who have been making money every event, as Halo's been kind of dying down slowly, I can, I can maybe understand that switch to COD. Now, is that a, that's a whole other argument for – I'm not even going to get into that, but <laughs> – but, uh, that's what then then in that case that makes sense you know everyone was saying well that's where the money is there's 20 grand here you know 100 grand here and what we got six seven grand for halo like you can make that argument all day but people have stayed with halo because like brad said they love the game so yeah and like i i don't think there's anything wrong with being you know a competitive or professional player in multiple games i think that that's what people need to do is support multiple games rather than than saying halo's dead everybody go and play cod it's yeah. like and play I agree. Both that's something of them. i said to you you remember brad this is something i said to brad actually in atlanta i looked at it and i was like man i was like i don't know if these uh you know cod halo collaboration events can continue i remember it but but it was but the atmosphere was insane like yeah, yeah i've stated before that i love call of duty it's uh, the game is cool. I, I enjoy playing it, but I've always I'm always going to be with Halo. But having it Call of Duty there was the atmosphere was insane. It felt like another live event, you know, like back in the day those MLG events. You, you could feel the atmosphere like that was huge. And we should be able to have that in the future. Like if you want to continue to support Call of Duty, then play it. But like you guys said, like we've all been preaching, 
stay, you know, let's make it an esports thing. It doesn't have to be Halo versus COD. It can be yeah, competitive FPS esports. You know? And I think I think too with it being like as close as it was to in there, it makes it really cool. So like if someone yeah. some play happens on the Halo side, the entire venue looks like everyone Everyone's who's sitting turned. in Call of Duty just turns their head. Yeah. What just happened over there happens in yep. Call of Duty. Everyone from Halo turns their head the other way. So it's just like you just see heads going like this, like big play On there, big swivel. play there. <laughs> so you know, it's definitely, it's definitely something that's, that's definitely fun and, and awesome. Um, kind of getting into the, the more Halo Wait. AGL related stuff. Dum, dum, dum. <sighs> <laughs> I get to be first. Okay. Everybody take a deep breath. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Before everybody wants to shoot me, there's good news after bad news. I, I like to do the bad news first rather than the good news first. It's so, much better. Drop them so, down and then pick so, them up. You know? So and they're really bad news. What's and wrong with kicking somebody in the shin like, and then patting them on the back? There's, there's, th it's a little bit of bad news, but then because there's so much good news following it. Just ignore the bad news. Just don't even worry about the bad news. I don't it's, even call it bad news. It's first, it's but. just a, it's a it's just something that has to happen. Okay, it's okay. Dude. We'll call it this. We'll call it this, a collective decision to better Halo. There you go. Yeah. There's positive That's light good. On. Yeah. So it's not bad news. It's a collective decision to better Halo. Okay. The quality. The quality of Halo. The quality of Halo. Okay, so what happens is everybody. There's a global championship. Everybody says, oh, shit, we're going to skip Michigan. We're going to wait for Indianapolis. Everybody seems to want that kind of break going in there. So straight off the bat, anybody who has bought passes for Michigan, you're going to get an email explaining stuff, and your passes can either be moved over or reimbursed to you, anything like that. So Michigan, Sturgis, ain't happening, bottom line. It's not happening because, one, there is no, there is no teams that are going. Two, the money ain't going to be worth it for anybody involved. It's going to be a waste of time for us, a waste of time for the players, a waste of time for the people watching. It's just not happening. General, yeah. It's just going to be stupid. It's going to yep. kill Halo more than help it. So it's not happening. So instead of that, what has happened is we have acquired one of our newest and best greatest sponsors ever in the entire world who actually sponsor Ambush. And they sponsor... Um, I think only Ambush right now. Yeah. So it's effective 812 hertz gum, which is um, gaming gum that enhances how you play. And I love it. If you watch the stream, when I've been streaming, I chew that stuff and I just start destroying kids. I swear to God, it, it works. It's, Are you bringing it this weekend? I'm is bringing it, it this it weekend. Is substance? It's, it's, le it's all natural. <laughs> is Here's it illegal? It's stuff. legal. Is it's it a per all, performance enhancing it's drug? It's all natural and everything so it's good for you it, it's good for you and it's gum, gum. It, it's it's it, amazing it i love it and so right, let me get a piece man. because of this sponsorship that we have Come correlated on, with get another piece. 8 12 hertz I'm going into the top, <laughs> grand. Um, get piece. two pieces brad two pieces please we are we are now able to say okay agl 10 is indianapolis it's our 10th event it's kind of a milestone for us let's make it big let's make it the biggest the best event we've had so with that in mind um, we're working with uh, a venue that's in Indianapolis that once I have that 100% clear to announce, we'll announce it. Um, but right now, we have guaranteed payouts for this event. 10 for 10. So here's how it's going to go. Halo 4v4, Indianapolis, November 1st through 3rd, guaranteed 10K payout. That's where it's at right now. We're going to try to get it. We're going to try to get it higher. We have what? What do we have? Two and a half months? Yeah. So yeah, we got two time. months. Two months. We just got time. We have two months to get more money added onto that. Right now, it's a hold 10k. On, wait, wait, Brad. Wait, wait, wait. Can I, hold on. Let's see. Uh, big. One of the biggest concerns with uh, Arena Gaming was was there was no time in between events. We we don't have any time. There's no time for me to find a team. There's no time for me to get my money together. There's no time for me to you request off work. Yeah, what do I do? Practice, there's no man. time to practice. What the am I gonna do? I want to go to Arena Gaming, <laughs> but there's just no time in between the events. Yep. So now, so now instead of us saying, <laughs> oh, the payout is based on. <laughs> How many people are going to show up? It's a 10K payout. You have two months now 
from from not you know actually you have two months basically from after the global championships even to head straight to get all your stuff ready for this event now on top of that we have some more guaranteed payouts the oh. 2v2 the 2v2 is a guaranteed one thousand dollar payout Whoa. this is just this, and this is just what we're guaranteeing these payouts can get bigger this is just what we're guaranteeing they have the chance to double let's say Mm -hmm. So you might see that 10K go to 20K in two months. You might see it stay at 10K. Lots of stuff that have potential right now because we have time to accumulate all this. Now the free-for-all is a guaranteed 500 like it has been, uh, you know, with the Gamers for Christ free-for-all. So we have acquired some more sponsorships and everything like that, and we're going to keep this rocking and rolling, guys. So now we've got the $10,000 guaranteed payout for Indianapolis November 1st through 3rd and the guaranteed 1k 2v2 and then the 500 guarantee free for all so that is um that's the good news that's the good news so everybody needs to save up your money for november 1st through 3rd and get ready for that event because it's going to be our biggest event that's kind of going to be the big event to end the year yeah orange county is going to be in december orange county will be after it but that's just to show west coast love this yeah. event, this event in November is going to be like our nationals to wrap it all up. That's why we're going to try to get the payout up to twenty grand. That's that's my personal goal, is to have a twenty thousand dollar payout in November first or third. So you guys can can say that that yeah, the ten k <laughs> is for the four v four. Ten k guaranteed four v four. Ten k guaranteed four v four. Spread the word. That's of right now. That's of right yeah, now. We have right two now. months. We have two that months. That could to just get be the beginning. So you have time and money. And time. and not only that, think about. Think about, okay, everybody just stop and think about what's been going on in competitive Halo right now. We possibly hit our lowest, have hit the lowest number of teams, lowest attendance with AGL9, and then and then Arena Gaming fires back with even more money guaranteed after that. So, you know, just giving up on Halo is now, now is definitely not the time if this is how everyone is responding. So if everyone who you, you were asking for time in between the events, you were asking for more money, it's not worth me going. You, you're making money with anything you try to do at this event. You go, you get your team together. You have two months to practice for this event coming up that is at a $10,000 guaranteed. There's no excuse there. Maybe, maybe you're a good 2v2 player. You know, shout out to people like Arvin and Creepy Trash, really good 2v2 team. There's $1,000 on the line just for the 2v2. Maybe you're more of an FFA player and you've been doing really well in past free for all. There's five hundred dollars there. There's money to be made in this game. There's there's no more talk of that. Especially considering that that's just the guaranteed money now that um, it can actually go up. Yeah, and people are asking if the the ten k is for top three only. Um, right now it would be for top three. It might be for top four. That's something I don't hundred percent know. But like I said, that's that's stuff too that we'll definitely touch on once it gets closer to the event. Because once we get a final number on if we can make that a higher payout, then we would be looking into paying top six and top eight. So that's kind of our goal is to be able to to pay out, you know, top six or top eight. It's 10K total. So usually that comes to be, we'll usually do about 5,500 to 6,000 for first. And um, so that's kind of, that's the starting point for this event now. Everybody has time to go to it. Um, the amount of teams that are going to be able to attend, I'm not even going to put a number out there. I'm going to put this out there. I can cut it off whenever I want. So Ooh. if you do not buy your passes, you might not get a pass. It could and, get and... – because if, if, if I get it to be like a 20K guaranteed payout from sponsors and stuff, I'm not going to allow 200 teams to come and compete. I might cut it off at 48. And if you're not one of those first people to get it, then you're going to be shit out of luck and not playing for money to get higher payouts. Which so means you guys, you're getting paid, son. So you guys definitely are not going to want to wait in that sense because I'm not going to say that it's open to 72 teams, it's open to 100 teams, it's open to 64. It's going to be – it's open until – as weeks go on, as we keep announcing, here's how many passes have sold, here's how many – you know, and then once it gets closer, then we're going to say, hey, we're going to cut it off at this – if if a hundred passes sell in the first week, then there's going to be a hundred teams because I'm not going to cut it off in the first week, obviously. So, definitely, the more people who buy passes early, 
the bigger the event can get. And you also have to look at it like this. If we can get um, more teams in the beginning, we'll, we'll do a bigger prize payout as well. So, sure. so And also with bigger prize, Brad, comes bigger money, um, obviously, and then the bigger uh, publicity that the event. So now we have more opportunities for these teams that are good, have been placing good, can now come around and show a sponsor, hey, this money's on the line for this tournament. It's going to be huge. Like, do you want to endorse us as we play on live stage and have 10, hopefully 10K viewers for 10K payout, you know, as a goal? So, you know, there's tons of different opportunities out there, especially as the prizes go up yeah. in money. Yeah, so this event, um, it's going to kind of, so everybody understands, like, how this is uh, going to be, like, promoted and stuff like that. This is going to be AGL 10 Indianapolis, and it's going to be powered by 812 Hertz, as you can yeah. see this beautiful graphic. So it's November 1st <laughs> through 3rd, and this is kind of our our thing. So it is our first event that you know is going to be powered completely, you know, by a a company allowing us to do that guaranteed payout. So make sure you guys shout out to them and thank them for supporting Halo and everything that we're doing so it's gonna be give their gum a try yeah here it does wonders i love it it does wonders <laughs> brad's dropping another statistic coming up here this is the gum i love it i eat it every day <laughs> oh god <laughs> so done, dude. one pack almost gone there's only two left no, ah, got a whole man. Nother full i gotta get though. some of that gum man so <laughs> I'm always chewing gum when I'm playing, dude. I need so this is definitely, you know, big news, big stuff for the Halo community. Um, I think that it's the right move for for everybody involved. And then we'll have more information. We're going to be doing, you know, the weekly shows and everything. We just kind of had to take that couple week of downtime to get all this figured out, get everything settled, make our decisions and push it on. And we wanted to make sure this happened before the global championship. So now after the global championship, everybody comes in ready for, to get ready for November. And everyone isn't just going to sit around and do nothing, you know, save your money. There's no reason this event shouldn't be our biggest and best event ever. Um, the venue is going to be great. We're going to have tons of equipment. The more teams that bypasses right away, the bigger the event can be. I want this event to absolutely blow people away. Um, so on another note, our website is down right now. So I know a lot of people have noticed that. Um, we have taken it down. It is going to be down until September 17th as our new website is going to be up then. So all of that is finally getting done and it's all getting moved over right now. So arenagaming.com will be up and running September 17th. And September 17th, right when that site goes live, guess what else happens? Passes go on sale for Indianapolis November 1st through 3rd. So September 17th, go mark it on your phones, go mark it on your calendars, go mark it on everything that you have to be ready to buy your passes. So now we have Write it on you... sticky notes, slap it on your face right before you go to yes. sleep. Put so it on your if, monitor if so you when you If you are planning game, you on know. buying an AGL 10 pass or you already have one, guess what? That pass is already paid for. You have the money ready to buy it. If not, you now have two and a half weeks to save your money to be able to go and buy that pass. So plenty of time, so there's no reason everybody shouldn't be able to buy that pass right away make the event huge, get everything ready. No, none of this last minute shit of right before the event, 30 people decide to buy passes and I'm sitting there trying to give access during like an hour before signups. Like uh, no more last minute stuff. Halo is known for last minute stuff and I hate it. That's the one thing that needs to change. We need people that are gonna be on top need of priorities, everything. Priorities, kids. Dude, priorities, yeah. buy your team pass. That should be number one priority in the world when they're going on sale. Like. Remember back in the day when I was sitting there hitting the refresh button for MLG mm. stuff, trying to buy a team pass, and I couldn't even get it because they'd sell out so fast. I want everyone hitting that refresh button for the site to go live and for passes to go on sale for our new site launch. Um, so make sure that you guys definitely stay up to date. We will be posting stuff on Twitter and on Facebook um, to keep people updated on what's going on. We will be having you know shows every week. Um, next week... I'm going to try to do one Tuesday right after PAX talking about the the event and everything. And if I have any more information for this event, we will um, push that out as well. Uh, but I have a trip that I have to go to next week that I'll be gone then for a couple weeks. Um, and that's kind of our new other project that we're going to touch on in a second after we touch on wired since everybody wants to know what's going on with wired right with the launch of the new website comes the launch of wired 
And this is also a huge opportunity for people for AGL 10 as well. So Connor, I'm going to toss it over to you. You're going to go ahead and give him the spiel on yeah, what's going to happen with with go Wired Connor. and what go people Connor. are going to be able so to do. So pretty much the site, we've been working on it for a, a very long time. Um, it's finally getting wrapped up, and then we're going to be ready to launch it. With that, you got your pass to go on sale, and then the first Wired tournament. So you'll actually be able to sign up and then compete for a sponsorship to AGL 10, and that should be launching the same day, September 17th. And yeah, so buy your passes, try and win a sponsorship, and show up to AGL 10. Yep, so now you can play online before AGL 10. Oh, and wait, also really quick, uh, someone just asked, will Wired have FA? Yeah, we'll have free for all, <laughs> 2v2, most likely, and 4v4, so be on the lookout for that. Yeah, and then how that's gonna work is basically per X amount of teams that sign up, player or if it's free for all or team for 4v4, will then get everything paid for to go to Indianapolis event. So yep. you sign up for the free for all, and you know, let's say your team doesn't want to play online or anything, then sign up for the free for all. You can get a paid trip to go to the event and play in the 2v2 free for all and 4v4. So yep. uh, you know, obviously, we'll have all the details on how many people it takes to sign up per spot, but it's not a big amount. Yeah, it's, people it's a, were asking uh, what's going on with like uh, fantasy and draft. Uh, once we launch the website, because uh, then we'll have Wired and the live portion ready, and then we'll start working on fantasy and draft, and that should be launching by next season. Yeah, yeah, I would look for that for next season definitely, because that's something that uh, we want to have it be right and be really cool. Oh, and with this yeah. other new project that we're doing, it kind of puts fantasy and draft a little on the back burner. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, quick question about Wired. Uh, Boise, Idaho. Did you? Uh... <laughs> it's not working like that anymore. It's not working like that anymore. How, how it's, it's totally working? Different. How it's working now is like you literally you sign up and it's a one day tournament. So like yeah. you play one day and you win a sponsorship or not based on how many people are signed up. So like. And it, instead of cities, it's also regions. So it's not really confusing. Yeah. But my team name can still be yes, Boise, it could Idaho. Boise, Idaho, if you wanted to. Yeah, you could do. Yeah, you could do that. So, so yeah, you could sign good up with your four v four team. We really like your on, question. You know, the set date that <laughs> it's serious. That Saturday set date. You know, you you just play all day through the bracket, and then the win whatever. If it's three teams are getting sponsored based on the amount of teams that are getting signed up, top three get a sponsorship. You know, and everything yeah. paid for for the event. If it's six teams. It could be one, it could be ten, it could be twenty. Depends how many people, you know, sign up for it. So it's mm -hmm. it's really it really leaves an open end so it's not you just know, like I like that better. So it's not just like one person. And we're yeah. planning on doing that before every single event. And it's practice, you know. If yeah. it's not only just the spon if you don't get the sponsorship, you have the practice. It's giving you that prenup to that event that's gonna be worth ten thousand dollars at least. So you might as well take advantage of that. Yeah. Yeah. So um and then, okay, so I have a little video that I'm going to play. Brad's got a video. Brad's got a video. <laughs> it's just a short, video. it's just a short little video. It's a little short video. So, uh, yeah, your guys can Oops. No, oh, Brad. Don't play. I don't oh, know why Brad. it's, oh, I didn't Brad. mean for it to play. Oh, Shut Brad. up. Oh, All right, no. so the screen's going to go black and the video's oh. going to play. Panic. Panic. And of course it's gonna lag because it can't handle it. I'm lost in the video. Oh! So. It can't handle it! I hate XSplit. What's happening? Hold on, we're pausing oh. this. We're letting this load. We're gonna we're gonna rewind this real quick. I don't know what it is that lags so much on XSplit, but XSplit sucks. Maybe you're right, maybe it's just too much off in the one small little box. I think it's just because I have like 1,700 things. Whatever. It's going to go live in a second on YouTube too. But this will get you guys the gist. So that's kind of the... Oops. So that's kind of the... Uh, I want to pause it at the end right here. For a second for oh. you guys. So... Is that Miley Cyrus at the end of this? Yeah, it was. It comes up on the <laughs> recent right? thing for this video every single time. Shut up. Shut up. Smiley. So if you guys look at this... Um, this this logo on here, it's Arcadia, and it's coming soon. So you can go to that website. It's got um, a countdown timer on that as well. So we've got a lot of 
interesting things coming with that. And now I can't really put too much information out there on what it's going to be yet. But let's just say this. We'll do a uh, we'll do a little a little bit of of a hint. It's going to create something that nobody has ever done before, nobody has ever seen before, nobody has probably even ever thought of before. Um, the master an all in one package, a gamer's paradise. Yeah, don't even say what it is. <laughs> <laughs> the gamer's paradise. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. It um, it's gonna be a something. A content machine, if you will. A content machine. It's gonna be something where, no matter what type of gaming you like, to watch, follow, any type of way you like to be entertained, um, you know, by watching something, it's going to happen in one single gamer's paradise place. So, um, we will be launching a lot more as we uh, get things finalized and solidified on that end. But it's a really, really, really big project that um, is bigger than just Halo, bigger than gameplay, bigger than an event, everything like that. It's going to be something everyone's going to really enjoy. And uh, so you can look for more teasers and stuff like that coming out. Um, I would say the next one will probably be in two weeks or something like that. And it'll have some pictures of of hinting towards it more. And then uh, we'll have a really nice teaser video uh, releasing hopefully the, the 1st of October is what I'm shooting for for that. So it'll be a, a lot more in-depth. Um, so, yeah, we can't really hint too much, but it's going to be a really, really, really interesting project. Really? So we just wanted to get it out there. So if you had to ask these people, three people in here because they know the details let's get a one sentence what you think of this project that is undergoing connor um amazingly awesome <laughs> <laughs> good amazingly two words awesome. billy i just think it's going to be the ultimate content machine just creating everything that you can you do bastard. It's everything. i dropped the content machine and you i was stole thinking it, it. You felt my brain waves, okay, now, man. Now I literally have like 20 <laughs> seconds. I have to get the content the creation countdown to come up with something witty, and you just, it's gone. Like, I just don't, that just doesn't. This is John's brain right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what? You know what? In a couple of words, what I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be. You can say like, the same thing, man. You know what? No, I won't say the same thing. What I'm going to say is that imagine you are a small person inside of your own head. All right. Imagine you are yourself inside of your brain and you're looking for something to do. All right. With visually, mentally, you're just stuck. All right. So you go to this you need thing. Stimulation. All right? This that you exactly <laughs> you need you need something to stimulate yourself. Your senses. Gaming. Your senses. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So I, I like you. Billy. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's keep rolling so, with it. Exactly. So you're in your head. <laughs> I'm so and lost. You need something. You need some content, right? But not yeah. only some content, you need something. You need a little, little something extra to get you to start your day, even maybe finish like your coffee. day, get you through the day. Exactly, it's like coffee, but bored at work, bored in school. Exactly, it's in your, it's in your head. All right, all right, stay with me here because <laughs> I'm dragging this out. You need something more. There it is. You need something more, and you found it. That was it. I was ready for like a hook line sinker. So you're looking for something more, and you found it. You looking yeah. for, Arcadia you're, you're looking is the for place something. to find it. Arcadia exactly. It. Arcadia, you're looking for something more and you found it. Cool. Arcadia. All right. Um, and we will have a lot of opportunities that come Content along machine. with this as well. So anybody that, um, as stuff gets released or anything, there's going to be some really, really good, interesting opportunities uh, that come with this too. So everybody that wants to be involved in e not, not eSports, video game industry. Okay. We're taking this. Pat, we're taking esports. We're going the whole gaming industry here, not just Halo, not just esports. Anything gaming wise. You notice how none of together. us just said Halo when we when we wanted to describe what this is going to be. Yes. None of us said anything about Halo, Call of Duty, none of that. You're looking for something more. But imagine all of that in one place. Exactly. 
It's like you're this big. Here. Yep. I, <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I could release more information because I hate keeping secrets from people. That's like my downfall. But you is gotta. not telling people <laughs> everything I know. So I wish that I could just. Good thing you're not in the FBI. Come, no, that would never work. <laughs> like about yeah, that assassination, I can't tell you, but. You know. <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Uh, hopefully, we can announce a lot more by the end of next week for like our first like tidbit of more. Um, that's the little trip I'm going on is going somewhere to finalize everything. So, it's gonna be awesome. Brad's going somewhere in some place to find something to finalize. Yes. A thing, a thing at a thing in a looking thing over at a thing to find now. a thing. You see? Yeah. It all makes sense now. It all makes Tons. sense. So it's just like, like I, I don't know. I don't even know what people could guess it could possibly be, but there's I'm, just I'm no I'm enjoying way. seeing what some of the people are saying in the chat of what they think it is. But eh. can you get like, the info in like writing? All right, I'm gonna. I'll like write it out. You guys are saying we are looking for a thing, in, in a thing, <laughs> over at a thing, describing a thing, producing a thing that involves a thing. But it's not just one thing. It's every. It's many things <laughs> and everything all at once. <laughs> <laughs> can we make like a Dr. Seuss book out of that. <laughs> so um. I love yeah. How big this is. And yeah, it's literally it's literally any it's whatever you're thinking in your head, it's not correct. No. Like whatever you're thinking in your head, multiply it by like a million and add everything in gaming gaming TV video photography and put it together. And what do you what does it equal? A thing. Mm, everything. It equals a gamer's paradise. It's as simple as that. So if you can figure out what a gamer's paradise is, then you you, you know what it is. It's Arcadia. And if you want to know why it's called Playing Arcadia, all night, it's because Arcadia, me paradise. Arcadia means paradise. So it's Arcadia, a gamer's paradise. Life, living in a gamer's paradise. Billy, we're onto something here. Yeah, Yo, Abs, I, I, I'll share information with you, Abs. <laughs> <laughs> if you know me personally, you probably have the inside information. And if not, you're probably going to ask me now what it is. Um, cause there is there is a lot of people that know, but if it leaks out, I will personally go chop their fingers off so they can't play video games anymore. That's kind of the like the deal that I just made with everybody that, that knows. <laughs> I'll cut your pinky off because you don't need your pinky anyways, right? So, what's the gum called? It's called Effective 812 Hertz. So, um, yeah, everybody needs to get ready. Huge thing is coming. We got this huge announcement. The whole thing is going to launch right after, two days after the indie event. But we're going to have so many hints and videos and pictures to come on what the Arcadia <laughs> project is. Um, for those of you asking <laughs> about uh, Orange County dates, Orange County is uh, December 13th. Incoming text <laughs> messages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Sorry, Brad. Quiet. You're not popular. Anyways, like I was saying, for those of you asking about the dates on, Orange I'm gonna, County, I know I'm going to kick him out of the call really quick. December man. 13th through the 15th. Yes, December 13th through the 15th. Correct. <clears throat> Why is the chat blowing up? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. That was hilarious. literally like anything. <laughs> what was hilarious? One of your sentences. My sentences? <laughs> Said something about the that something you need to come. Oh, incoming text is what I said. No. <laughs> Before I don't know that. What you're talking about. Oh man. Whatever. Uh, the venue info for AGL 10, uh, I should have that hopefully next week. So um, I'll I'll release that once. But more importantly, watch said and done. the Halo Global Championships this weekend. Yeah. Don't and then it. take one week of rest. And come find me, and I'll give you some A12 Rest your mind come. from video games for one week, and then start again. 
<laughs> One week vacation. Oh, you know what? Take Screw a hiatus. That. Don't you know? Don't you ever stop? Matter of fact, just continue to play nonstop. Don't stop. Won't stop. <laughs> oh man, the chat's ridiculous. So immature. So, yeah. Hopefully, everybody uh, you know likes those announcements. Pass the word on. You know, we got a lot of a lot of good things you know coming about, and. I think yeah. I think that uh, I think everybody isn't ready for what's about to happen and what mm -hmm. the, the future of AGL is bringing. One thing though that I do want to touch on is touch on it, Brad. Touch on it, yeah. Just Since we're it, on this it. whole touch like, on it, Brad. Come on, let's hear you. Let's see you touch on it. Touch on it. Touch it. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Uh, is a lot of people are saying, oh, AGL is not going to last another season. This and that. Here, here's how you got to look at it. If Halo dies because there's no developer support or whatever happens, there's so many other games that are coming out. So many other games. AGL is a competitive league. We're not just Halo. Hence why we're doing something with the Arca Ar Arcadia. I don't know if I want to call it Arcadia or Arcadia. Ar so like Arcadia. I change it up all the time. Arcadia. 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 Yeah. So um, we could look at Battlefield 4, Titanfall, Destiny. There's so many games out there that if the developers want to support it, it could become Despicable Me Snake Run. So it's <laughs> Why is that a thing? Oh, Des yeah. Despicable Me, that racing game on your yeah. phone, dude. That's amazing. <laughs> on yeah. my phone? Yeah, it's on your phone. Download it. It's Despicable Me. It's free. It's a really, really fun game. It's hard though. So there's so Rob much. The little guys there's, go, what? there's so many, so many options. Um, you know, if if there is no developer support there, if there is no enough sponsor, you know, ties to get in sponsor support for Halo to continue the, the big payouts and grow payouts to be bigger, then if another company, you know, wants us to have their game be competitive and give us, you know, the support for it, like you see Call of Duty doing, then we have to go in that direction. We're not going to die. We're going to grow. So... And we're all Halo kids at heart. I see some people like yeah. freaking out. Like, yeah, no, like I, I honestly I don't play any other game but Halo. Really, now I'm gonna start playing a lot of games because of this new project. So like, if I'm streaming another game, come and hang out. You might get more inside information. I kind of give inside information when people watch me play other games sometimes. Like I was playing Payday Two. That game's sick. That game's <laughs> awesome. Robin Banks. I just I read the most the most disturbing thing I've ever read in a Twitch chat. I think ever. I didn't. And I enjoyed all four words of it. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. I don't uh, see it. I'm not repeating that, though. Shout out to whoever did the silly. But yeah, dude, I'm excited. I'm really excited for everything uh, coming up in the, in the next couple of months. I'm really excited for uh, Arcadia. I think a lot of people... It's, because we can't go in depth and really share a lot of details is, is the reason why it's probably so vague and you know some people probably aren't you know as interested but once it gets up and running once everything starts pumping once that machine starts running you guys are everyone's going to be legitimately surprised like it's going to be there's going to be so much content it's going to be you know so much entertainment and it's it's going to be awesome I'm, I'm looking forward to it like it as a whole, the project as a whole is going to be awesome and a lot of fun, not just for the people involved, but for everyone. Everyone. Everybody. Everybody. Um, and I, I had a really good analogy that I shared with Brad, and I, I don't know if uh, if I'm allowed to say that if it won't give up too much. You remember what I said, Brad, before we started the show? Uh, Something about ESPN? Um... Yeah, you can you can you can do that. Just don't say anything on. Uh, yeah, you can you can do the analogy, and if I yell stop, yeah. just stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, get ready. I'm about to expose everything. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, so <laughs> I have my button on the hang up icon just in case. Kick him. <laughs> I will cut him off so fast. Kick him. <laughs> what I said. What I said was it's going to be kind of like ESPN. Like, uh, if you think about, so for sports. Like, we're not trying to be ESPN, though. 
Like, no, so, no, no, no. So I was just using. He's it using as a, it yeah. as an example. So just yeah. to clarify that, we're not like. Yeah, yeah, trying no, to no, no, no. Not trying to say it's gonna be anything like. That's a lot of MLG go do their on board. They're gonna be ESPN thing. We're not. This is completely different. So, so for example, if you uh, if you're someone a uh, sports goer and you you enjoy professional sports of any kind, you know that uh, ESPN is always that place for info, uh, games, everything, everything sports related, uh, breaking news, just everything. You know. If, if I need something involving in sports, I know I can turn my TV on at 2 a.m. if I wanted, and I know, bam, I got sports. Maybe it's Serena when, you know, Williams beating the crap out of a skinny white Russian chick, or maybe it's some college football, you know, whatever. So it's going to be something like that. Like, you, it's going to be content that you're going to, you know, have a lot of fun with, and you're always – it's going to be solid. It's going to be oh, – it's so hard to explain. But, yes, yeah, so think about that and kind of play with that in your head, I guess. Yep. That sums it up. In there you go. Yeah. Why don't we leave them on the, the good news recap, Brad? Recap, Brad? Yeah, that's a good yeah. name. I like that. Recap, Brad. Recap, Brad. Brad. <laughs> I just, I the just Brad report. With, uh, recap <laughs> recap <laughs> the 10. Yo, what's up? You're here with Recap, Brad. We're going to run through this quick 30 second breakdown. <laughs> Halo 4 G. See, I thought I messed up. I Halo 4 Global Championships and PAX coming up this weekend. Ola is going to win it all. According to the panel here on Inside AGL, Michigan actually, is uh, canceled. Well, no, you, sh- you, you can't. I, I'm doing this. You can talk afterwards. AGL Sturgis canceled. Oh. Done. Not happening. Moving on. AGL 10 is now Indianapolis. Big event. 10K payout. 4 10K, 10K. 1K, 2K, 2, 500, 10, FFA, 10, guaranteed, guaranteed, 10, guaranteed. 10, Orange money, County, money, December money. 13th <laughs> to 15th. <laughs> our website is down. The website is down, I repeat. It is down right now. It comes it's back down. up September 17th. Down. And wait, what else happens December, September 17th? That's right. Passes for AGL 10, Indianapolis, powered by 8 to 12 hertz, effective gum, go on sale that night as well. Save your money. You have plenty of time. Get ready to buy the, patch, the passes immediately. There will be a cutoff date. There will be a pass limit that... I'm not going to reveal until I feel like I'm going to absolutely cut it off. Buy your passes within the first day. I'm telling you right now, you're going to want to do that. Wired will be coming out with the new website. You'll be able to earn sponsorships to go to our live events. So based on X amount of teams that sign up, you can get a sponsorship for free-for-all, 2v2, and 4v4. That is starting with AGL10. So now not only if you buy your passes, you can now win a sponsorship and get everything paid for. The Arcadia Project, we hinted on that. We can't go into any more detail. It is a gamer's paradise. Figure it out yourself. If you want inside information, start following it on Twitter. Start following it on Facebook, and you might get some little tidbits. Come watch me when I stream random games. Get ready for other content to be posted for sneak peeks. That may also be posted at the ends of our videos on Arena Gaming, like they do in movies. So make sure you watch all the way after through. After the credits. Make sure you watch oh, all the way through after everyone. the credits. After the credits. So there is your 30-second breakdown with Recap Brad. Wow. Recap Brad. Thanks for the re- Brad re- report. Re- 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 recap re- Brad. Re- 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 recap Brad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, what time is it? Let's do a quick two-minute Q&A. Two-minute two minute Q&A. Q&A. Questions and answers. So you, any questions you guys have right now, ask them. I think everybody pretty much got just about everything. Yep. That was 45 seconds. All right, Rage, you're no longer invited to the Skype call. <laughs> 37 seconds. Are you dyslexic? Gears of War, what's the update? Yeah, so we've been doing a lot with Gears of War 4 that's coming out. We've <laughs> been doing a really good job of keeping us informed. You're actually going to have jetpack. In Gears of War 4. <laughs> so, as a whole new level of the game, they're doing a lot with that. So, stay tuned for Gears of War 4. Should be coming out in 2016. The guaranteed payout is 10K. Uh, the venue will be announced hopefully next week once that's all confirmed. Uh, no, I will not be playing Halo 2 tonight because I have to go to the eye doctor tomorrow morning. And then I have to catch a plane to, a plane to Seattle. So, no, I'm not staying up late tonight. Rage, he probably that that, AKA he will if you really uh, push him. No, because I have to be up at eight o'clock. That's really early. I've been going to bed at like five lately. That's really early? Are yeah. you serious? Yeah, it's really early. Um, 
I have a really cool uh, clip that I'm going to post that there might be a hint at the end of. Uh, it's a ricochet game that I was eating A12 Hertz in, and I absolutely went bananas and dropped a 40 bomb with a kill tack. B A N A N A S. Bananas? B A N S. B A. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, that, no, the Despicable Me stuff is so much better. There's ba 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 bananas. Potato! <laughs> <laughs> Spickable Me is the best. If you don't know what that movie is, you probably should not exist in life. It's pretty essential. I have to, I have to admit, I've never seen either of them. And see ya. Bye. <laughs> 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 Bye. Uh, their monitors. AGL 10 is all bank, all BenQ monitors. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. Okay, that was huge. Can you please say that again? AGL 10 is all BenQ monitors. I repeat, AGL 10 is all BenQ monitors. Over and out. Thank you, based Brad. Ow. Thanks, oh. Recap Brad. Thanks, Recap Brad. <laughs> they are always played on HDMI. We never play on VGA. HDMI. Go yeah, go to an event and you'll know that question. Always played on HD. Go to an event Always. and Billy will yell at you to hurry up and start the game. Yeah, I and will. then if you ask me a question, I'll yell at you as yeah, well. Yeah, no, Brad won't even acknowledge your breathing. I'll go like this. I'm busy at like the moment. Sunday. No, you straight up, you like palmed my face almost. This is the gun. You're like, I, I could smell your hand. Did it smell good? In Atlanta. No, and it was stressful too. I walked up Friday and I was like, hey, and then he was just like, <laughs> and I was like, all right, hey Billy, uh LeBron basketball dunk face. <laughs> I have no idea what the model of the Ben Q's are. Posterized. Hey, from now you know what? You know what from now on, if you have an issue that you, this is gonna be my job. I'm gonna facilitate things on Friday, all right? On Friday, Brad's a douche. Alright, you come <laughs> find me. You come find me on Friday and I will help Billy somehow sort through the mess that is registration. Okay. Okay, well, Friday we had a fire incident. Can we yeah. remember that? We had a, a, a floating ground, so there was Friday. Charges, Friday, people almost died because of the hotel. That's <laughs> why I was a dick. So, so if anybody doesn't know of this, here's what happened: the hotel had a floating ground. They were sending 120 volts of electricity back into our equipment and into our grounds. steel cage, charging the cage, main cable. <laughs> so we touched the oh, cage yeah. with an HDMI cable. And it boom! It blew up all our stuff. Boom! Legitimately blew it all up. Boom! It was maybe that's why you put your hand in my face. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was because there's thousands of dollars of stuff that exploded. I'm pretty sure yep. anybody would put their palm in someone's face after that happens. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yes, that's why Friday was hectic. But other than that, we also do have this awesome new like whole structure and stuff where we do try to start later end earlier and everything like that too you know obviously if there's a lot of teams it's a little bit harder but sunday is always a 1 p.m start 1 so that's yeah. the other good thing get some so, sleep so like you get to sleep you get to go out and do your thing oh on my Saturday god it was whatever. so nice oh it was so nice sleeping in on sunday You're welcome john yeah especially oh, after you uh got destroyed on saturday Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. shots fired. You need to get some okay, rehab on, after on, that. Yeah, who bad. ends a game? Who ends Hold a on. game? Wait, no. Who ends a game of Halo when it's tied in overtime? Yo, we gotta and I'm about to win. That, and I'm about to win. Long talk. I'm finna. Yeah. I'm finna to get shut this I'm a, down. No, I'm was about to win. Let me, okay, hold on. Let I was me about to I'm going to cry about a game that meant nothing for the rest of his life. <laughs> I was about to win. Okay, hold and on. And he, he ends the game. He's going to cry about a game. Uh, I'm gonna explain something. I gotta, I gotta educate the people. All right. So this is what happened. All right. Saturday night, after all the games are done, you know we're, you know, drinking, having fun, playing random eights. Literally, uh, six of the people I had never met before in my life, and we were just playing, having a good time. We, we, we made it a point to try to yell. We we're like, every time we get a kill, let's just scream at the top of the of our lungs at each other and get the COD people to look over because they were still playing like top eight, top twelve matches, whatever it was Saturday night, right? So we're screaming, we're having a good time, and then Brad and Billy, we call them over like, hey guys, you know, come play. A couple people got up to smoke or whatever, they walked away. So I got Billy on my team, because Brad was automatically talking crap, like he was going to beat me. Yep. So he jumped on the other team, 
The game started as Dispatch CTF. I went like no, it was Simplex. You ended it. Whatever it was, it was we Simplex. Played two games. All right, we played two games. One of them was Dispatch. Yeah, and in Dispatch, you got you got the D by my sniper rifle. What? Of course, I was is. like, I went like an insane positive every game, and Billy does not play the game. Like every time we would get like three or four dead, we'd be like, Billy doesn't play the game, like screaming at the top of our lungs, and we won <laughs> both games. The first game, however, Brad got upset because we ended it now. I, I will fierce. admit, I will admit that we should not have ended ended the game, but, but, the the AGL ref, the head ref, all right. <laughs> 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 Mr. Billy Luck, he, he confirmed, and the game, Jesse Seau said, end the game, bro, I end the game, we're done here, end of the game, Brad oh. got up and screamed at the top of his lungs like he was going to punch a toddler, like he just lost a million dollars, I about, I about punched a baby in the face, he basically sure. lost all his money on that game, yeah, oh my I... god, dude, I'm, I would never go to Vegas with you and like, bet, I was, you. Oh my god, that would be madness. That'd be absolutely yeah. Bad. I'm not allowed in Vegas. I th I'm. Yeah. That'll be bad. <laughs> that was fun. I think we should definitely. What if we? Maybe that's a topic for, out of the show. But that's something we should look into, doing every event. That'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's something that we could also do within the arcade or Arcadia. Oh. Don't <clears throat> say anything. I love hints. I love hints. I just want to tell everybody. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> I know I can't. I'm not allowed to. I'll get hey, yelled at. Hit if we hit ten thousand viewers in the next four minutes. Spill I'll tell everyone. Yep. Fill in the beans. Ten thousand viewers in four minutes, and I'll tell everyone. Make it happen. Hashtag. Get We're the not hell. We're gonna get over two hundred. Let's be realistic. <laughs> I know. That's why it's a safe gamble. Let's <laughs> <laughs> be realistic. And if it did happen, then those ten thousand people definitely deserve to hear what's happening. Really? Come on, man, dude. You're just crapping all over my swag. Jutsu right just now. Being, I'm being Can honest I hug with myself. The EU if I was being honest with myself, the like EU $900. Community, here's a hug to you. I'm hugging on, you. Are we doing a show right now broadcasting to people that are watching? You're never honest. Why would we be honest? That's silly. We tell the people what they want to hear. That's what oh, we're yeah. here to do. All right. Well, stop, stop throwing up your mind garbage. Honesty, what is that? Everyone open multiple browsers. Yes, if you guys can, if 200 people can open up <laughs> enough browsers to hit 10,000, I will be ecstatic on the um, the attempt to get the information. Because Brad would screen cap it and be like, "What up, three, four, three? I 100 <laughs> would. Yes, <laughs> I would screen cap that in oh. half a second. Because 200 people yep. to get 10,000 yep. windows. That's a lot. <laughs> That's 50 windows each. I think some people's computers would probably blow up on them. Mine already has. Yep. See, it's not even going up. Nobody's even opening up more tabs, which is another point. I don't know why people don't do that at events. If everybody would open up two tabs at events, we'd hit like 20,000 viewers. I don't know. Yeah, it does help. I, I've done it. We have had, me and Connor have had late night troll sessions where we go into people's streams who have five viewers and get them up to like 50. <laughs> because we open dude, up dude, all the they tabs. Get so, so like, oh my god, I got 50 viewers! Yes! <laughs> and then we just close them all and it goes back down to like three and then they cry. The well, best that's troll the fun ever. Part. The best part is when they get super stoked. But <laughs> They look at their viewer list and it's only like four people. And yeah. they're like, what? This oh, I'm not nice. saying the ad money. I don't care about if the ad money changes, like, with the more tabs. I'm just it's saying, all about like, the, the statistics. The, the stats change. That's the fun part, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing like a nice good all statistic, yeah? Yeah. Why do, people, why do you think people play in the NFL, man? They pat their stats. You don't play for the money. You don't play think, to win. I think, think the Patriots that. blow out teams that suck because <laughs> it looks good. Yeah. <laughs> And if you look good, you feel good. Yeah. <laughs> and if you stomp kids that are from high school and you're a pro football player, it's worth it. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Someone banned Snipe Clown? It wasn't me. I don't know. Who banned him? You're losing your mod. <laughs> Who banned Snipe Clown? He's not banned. He just... Oh, someone did time him out. That kid's in, like, all of my streams. Who banned... Who timed him out? It might have been an accident, though. It might have been someone trying to time out someone else. I do that all the time. Yeah. Like, if I accident, if you get banned or something by me, like, it's probably I would try to hit somebody, like, that was above you, and then it 
chat moves, so then I click on like three people below him, and then I'm just like, oops. Mm. That's why I don't handle that stuff because I can't, I can't do it. So we're up to 170. It has now been four minutes. It did not hit 10,000. I'm sorry, you we guys didn't get like any information. Six viewers. <laughs> All right, so, should we wrap it up? Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, Good. Everybody spread the word, you know, get ready for the global championships this weekend and then get ready for uh, Indianapolis. Uh, passes will go on sale September 17th. We'll keep you guys in the loop. Get ready for some other videos with other information coming out as soon as I can possibly release it. Awesome. So thank you one all thing for too. watching. One yes. more thing, too, one before we uh, actually, you know what, I'll just go ahead and put it in the chat anyway. But uh, I, I haven't been streaming as much lately because uh, I was having issues with my internet and whatnot, had a lot of things going on. So I will start actually uh, streaming more often. So if you guys are looking for content information, I want to start doing those, those videos more often too, Brad. I don't know if you want to make that a weekly thing or not, but uh, that's I something I definitely want to do. As long as it's, as long as you let me give you a background for it. I thought you were about to say back rub. Um, yeah, <laughs> you absolutely may give me a back rub. Because you know, you know my background's pretty pretty cool right now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mine was totally like a just a thrown together thing. So, yeah. But for those of you who were interested, <laughs> everybody thinks. Oh, I do want to wonder if you guys had to pick one person out of everybody who doesn't even play the game anymore, and got invited to the global championship. Who's gonna do the best out of all of them? Karma like doesn't play yet. Got an invite. Yeah. Karma. Tuger. Hands down. Karma. Karma. Ghost. Karma. Karma isn't going Ghost though, is he? Playing. Shockwave is. I don't think yeah, Karma shock, is. Shock, shockwave I is. thought this was like a figurative thing. Yeah, no, like said, oh. no, but like the people that are going. Like I'm yeah, saying like, the people that, that are going. Stop that? It, yeah. the, your guess, options so... are like Tuger, Karma, or uh, Shockwave. shockwave. <laughs> uh, I don't really know anyone besides. Oh my God, these links. What is that? Don't cute. even worry about it. Just let's keep going. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't, those I, are the only two I know. I would say that... two. I haven't really seen Shockwave online at all, but I've seen Tuger like grinding it out every day, playing free for all. So hands down, gonna be Tuger. Yeah. I guess you could say Strong Side, but Strong Side's been playing a lot since RTX. Yeah. He's actually, I think he's the most practiced person going into this event for sure, hands down. He practices so. Sick. I can't believe I forgot about Strong Side, man. He's definitely no. my top four. I yeah. completely forgot that he was playing. He's playing like. 16, 18 hours a day, like insane. As a matter of fact, practice. I think if there's anyone that can beat Ola in that one v one, it might be him. It might be Strong Side. Yeah. Yep. If he practices, the, the Strong Side is probably my two, my one and two. I think Ola's Mike stronger. has to practice one v ones, though. I don't know if he has or not. I would hope everybody did. I wish I would have practiced one v ones if I knew that I was gonna have to worry about Overshield on Onyx. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. All, All right, right, guys. That's yeah. it. Thank Thanks you for right. tuning in. Peace out, everybody. See you at AGL 10. See ya. See you in two days. Word.